The way is blocked. I have to find how to get out of this dungeon. the same river that flows near my burrow. I have to get there quickly and get the poor girl out of the water.
My damn be damned. Quirko, who do you have here? Put her on the hammock. By the looks of it, she passed away only recently, but not all is lost. Listen, while you were away, I climbed down to the underground temple you found under our hole. There I saw a door with an image of a blooming tree. You know what this tree means. It is a thimble of the ancient civilization, the elegants, who inhabited our lands in the past. Do you remember the legend about the elegants? They knew the secret of how to resurrect the dead. I think you should find out what's hidden behind that door with the tree. We must bring that poor thing back to life. My heart's telling me she came here for a reason. Look what I found underground. Take it. You'll need it. Oh, looks like these are remnants of a civilization thought to be long lost. I should try to find some local people. Hi there, stranger. How did you turn up in our village? If you mean no harm, then Elginwood, the last bastion of Elgin civilization, welcomes you. I'm Tallinn, the chieftain. What brings you here? What do you mean by a dead girl? Why do you think we could revive her? You know from the legends. Well, you're not as simple as you seem. I must tell you one thing. We can revive a dead person only if the body is still warm and only in very special circumstances. Convince me that this woman is worthy of being brought back to life and I'll consider your request. I should probably show the chieftain the compass, that stranger trap. I can't believe my eyes. This is the compass of the worlds, the ancient artifact. I've read about it in books and now I see it truly exists. But if that girl had the compass, it means she's... I can only guess. Is she the legendary Susan the War Maid? We must revive her. As the prophecies say that the destiny of countless generations in the Lost Lands depends on her. This will require a good deal of energy and the assistance of the river spirit. We call on him in situations like this one. Go to the Meadow of Magic. You'll find some sacred writings there that describe in detail where and how to meet the river spirit. Here, take this seal of the chieftain to help you get to the Meadow of Magic. And do you see this book here? Read it to learn how to use the seal.
I know, mortal, what you summoned me for. I can read it in your eyes. You ask me to revive a human being you do not even know. Why? Do you think she's important for these lands? In fact, you are correct. She is a traveler from another world, and she saved the lost lands from evil once already. But I have no need to revive her. All the problems of the Lost Lands make no difference to me. They are just earthly quarrels. But I can help you if you help me. In the Elogans settlement, there is a cave called Dragon's Mouth. In that cave, there is a pond connected with my river through the underground waters. The pond is suffering from something evil and dangerous, which is spreading death among the river dwellers. Heal the pond, and I'll grant you the energy of life for that drowned woman of yours. Look inside my throne for something that will help you get inside the dragon's mouth. It's true. The water is covered by something black. Which is highly flammable. I'll need to make a hole through this black thing so I can get underwater and see what's what. I think, Beaverling Corco, that you abuse our cordiality. We were kind enough to let you into our community and you dare to defile our temples? What? What contamination? 
This pond isn't contaminated, it's filled with magical power. This pond is an endless source of hot water, and we believe it was gifted to us by the spirit of flames. You say that the river spirit claims it's killing the river? This can't be. Well, we can't turn our backs to the truth, bitter though it may be. Time to patch up the hole if the river spirit wishes it so. But I'll expect something in exchange from you. A favor for myself and my people. In the underground temple, there's a crypt holding the body of one of our ancient rulers. Legend has it he was a demigod. And they say that the one who possesses his helmet will help the Elgin civilization to flourish again. Bring me the ruler's helmet. Take this. It will help you. What is this? There are some symbols on the weeping glass. Leader, check. Helmet, uh, missing. I should look around.
Oh, there it is. The helmet of the ancient ruler of the elegant people. Now that we have this sacred relic, everything will be back to normal and our civilization will rise again. Thank you, Beaverling Corco. As your reward, I allow you to do anything you want with the source of the Black Death, if it helps to bring Susan the War Maid back to life. Take this chieftain's ring as a sign of my gratitude to you, Beaverling Corco. Wear it with pride. I hope now the spirit will be pleased. I have to pay him a visit. Yes, I can feel it. The river tells me its burden has been lifted. I thank you for that, Beaverling. Time to fulfill my end of the bargain. Listen and remember. In the Elogan settlement, there's a holy place. The Elogans call it the Meadow of Magic. There, you will find a pedestal holding a cup. Fill the cup with tears of Elogan mourners and put a Philosopher's Stone inside it. Only then will the Meadow of Magic reveal the energy of life to you. Take this energy and use it to fill the body of the one you want to revive. When we say goodbye, look inside my throne. You will find something to help you with the ritual. Farewell.